Good morning, everybody. This is the executive director of Kampala <laughs> signing out. I'm handing back to Uganda a better city than the one that was handed to me. Mosisi also handed over 13 KCCA bank accounts with a total of 113.9 billion shillings and 250 certificates of title for KCCA properties. In her resignation letter to the president two months ago, Mosisi had decried the acrimony between the technical and political teams, budget limitations, and inadequate political backing. Thank you for patiently bearing with the inconveniences that come when we execute projects in the city. The Minister for Kampala, Betty Kamia, revealed that the appointing authority, President Museveni, has not yet officially responded to Musisi's resignation. His Excellency has not yet accepted Jennifer Musisi's notice of resignation. Musisi's former work colleagues loaded her as hardworking and down to earth. Um, she's always been one of those people who is willing to talk to anyone, whatever level. If you follow someone who's going somewhere and you're sure of where, where they are going, then it's easy to follow them. She loves the law. You know you're dealing with Kampala. You're dealing with a very complex situation. Kamia assured KCCA employees that the exit of the pioneer executive director would not precipitate a major restructuring process. Under MCC's watch, Kampala has acquired a modern look, but her tight grip at the helm of KCCA caused acrimony between the technical and political wings. The new executive director will have to be a master at walking a tight rope to navigate the political intrigue in City Hall. Gillian Nantume, NTV.